Today on Fixing the Money Thing. We have a health problem in the U.S. And as I did their financial plan, I came to the conclusion that their problem wasn't debt. It was that their four-year-old or five-year-old son had a birth defect that was costing them a couple thousand dollars a month in medical treatment. I started to reprogram my mindset. And down in my heart, I started to believe that healing was mine. Healthcare is the biggest financial issue facing our nation. We'll talk about it today on Fixing the Money Thing. With most families burdened in unsustainable levels of personal debt, most Americans believe there is no way to have financial freedom. However, author, pastor, and financial expert Gary Cassie believes most families can be completely out of debt in less than seven years. You must get out of debt. You've got to make right choices with your money right now. Gary and his wife Drenda are now on a crusade to share this information that changed their life so that you can not just survive, but prosper in today's economy. Your life can be totally transformed by an idea in the marketplace. This is Gary Cassie, Fixing the Money Thing. Welcome to another edition of Fixing the Money Thing, or I should say, helping you fix your money thing. Hi, we're Gary and Drinda Cassie. We're going to talk about money again, Drinda. Yes, I noticed today's topic is, does God still heal? Yes. Now, Gary, what does healing and money have to do with A each other? A lot. I'll tell you what, if you study the stats on this, $1.1 trillion a year is lost by medical problems, uh, the inability to work in the United States. That's a lot of money. 50% of the population is on prescription medication. Wow. We have a health problem in the U.S. Yes, we do. And, and it costs money, lots of money. I know you've taught healing and it's phenomenal. It is, some, absolutely. Some of the things that you've gotten mm -hmm. and put yes. together. And I'm excited today to talk more about how you can be healed and how it affects your finances. We're yes. going to look at some stats now of what's going on in health care here in the United States. <laughs> Wow, as you can see, health care costs a lot of money, not to mention what it does to people's lives to be sick and be in constant chronic pain. We want to see you free from that. Gary did a recent teaching that was excellent, amazing, live whole. And I'm going to show you right now a teaching from that segment. I remember the day that uh, this was years ago before I pastored and I just had my company and we were, you know, we shared the, the gospel as a platform. We talked about finances and I was in my office and this phone, the phone rang and I answered it and the lady on the line was in tears and I, she couldn't talk. She was weeping so much. And I waited and I, she said, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. And she, she wept on the phone and then finally she got her composure and she said, uh, do you remember me? And she kind of reminded me where she lived at and then I remembered. It's been probably three or four months before that that I had gone on an appointment to talk about their finances and they were moving to another state and they had asked, you know, how to get out of debt and the basic things we help people understand. And as I did their financial plan, I came to the conclusion that their problem wasn't debt. It was that their four-year-old or five-year-old son, I don't remember exactly, I remember he was very small, four or five, that he had a birth defect that was costing them a couple thousand dollars a month in medical treatment. I mean, that really was the problem. It wasn't that they were you know, having credit card problems. It was that they couldn't get ahead because they had to pay this medical bill. And as I sat there that day, I remembered what happened as we sat there. We began to talk about the healing covenant of Jesus Christ. And I sensed the anointing come into that room very strongly. Uh, the mother didn't ask me to pray for the son, but I felt his presence. And I asked her if I could. And the son was sitting there. He'd sat there the whole appointment, very, very well behaved. He sat there at the chair, and so I just set my hand upon him, and I began to pray for him. And the anointing increased, and it, it was, like I said, it was very strong. Well, she thanked me for praying, and that was the end of the appointment. They were leaving in two days to, uh, to move to Arizona, so, you know, I didn't have a chance to follow up or hear. But it was this woman on the phone, and she said, you know, I had to call you, she said. When we moved to Arizona, we had to change doctors, 
And when we got to Arizona, the birth defect was gone. It says, we didn't have to have medication. We don't have to spend the $2,000 a month. And she was, she was weeping on the phone out of joy. She said, I just felt that I had to tell you that. All right, spiritual scientist, is that an isolated case? Did God love that boy more than you? No, absolutely not. So we want to talk about this. Through this series, here's what we're planning on covering, the basis of healing. So you can legally defend that, knowing what the Bible says about healing. We're going to study our responsibility. In our culture, many, if not a large majority of the sicknesses we experience are our own doing. We need to understand how to walk with wisdom in our diet, how we handle our bodies. We're going to talk about how to receive healing. How do I, what do I do if I'm sick? How do I minister healing? How do I help someone that I know that is sick? We're going to hear some amazing stories. We're going to have people that have had cancer, told they had no chance of living here. We have people that other people besides cancer told they would die. Plus, many people, we have one man coming in who's going to be talking about, the, the, the doctor said it was the largest colon tumor that he'd ever seen in his entire 20-some year career. The man was healed by the power of God without surgery, chemotherapy, or anything else. And we're going to hear his testimony throughout this series. So I trust that it's going to be an exciting series for you and build your faith in this area of healing. Amen? Now, one of the primary things we want to start with is understanding that healing is both natural and spiritual. So we need to have that. We need to talk about both areas because you are body and spirit. You know, you're, you're, you're walking in two realms. So we need to understand how both flow together. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26 says to the nation of Israel, If you listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all of his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Amen. He's the Lord that heals you. And notice he said, if you pay attention to the Lord, if you, if you follow his leading, this applies to spiritual and natural meaning that God may warn you or God may give you insight on some natural things you need to be aware of. We have a very good pastor's wife, uh, a pastor's friend, who's, his wife was sick. She led worship in her church, and she lost her voice. And she, she couldn't speak. She had a hard time with her voice. And she was praying about this, praying about this. And one day she went to her car, and she just turned the radio on, and someone said, if you've lost your voice, you need to check out celly bean allergies. And she thought, well, wow, she just turned the radio on, and that's what came across the radio waves. And this program was on there about soybean allergies. She checked it out. She got rid of soybeans, and she's perfectly fine today. So natural wisdom. She just happened to get that word. God got the, the wisdom and the knowledge she needed to fix that situation. And so she's well today. So we need both wisdom spiritually and naturally to walk healthy. Spiritually, we need to know that Jesus paid for our healing. He paid for it legally. Acts 10, 38 says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good and healing how many? All who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. Now, obviously, every sickness is not of the devil. I mean, if you fall down and break your arm, I mean, no, I mean, I suppose it's possible the devil made you do it, as Flip Wilson used to say. Never mind. If you, some of you guys don't know who that is. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, you know, we live in a corrupt world. Sometimes we just fall down and break our arm. But nevertheless, healing is still ours, still ours. And so we need to understand that the Bible says, under the power of the devil, I have been sick, and I, I tell you, I do not like to be sick. Anyone in here say they like to be sick? Don't raise your hand. We need to pray for you for something else. But, uh, you know, I don't like to be sick. I hate being sick. And I have, I've ha I have been sick to the place that I didn't know if I'd live or die. I have experienced the healing touch of Jesus Christ. And I'm extremely thankful for what we have in the covenant. And so under the dominion of the devil, under the power of the devil, under the earth curse system, where sickness never existed before Adam fell, sickness is a result of sin and the dominion of the enemy coming into the earth realm. You know, Adam didn't die until he was about 900 and some years old. It took 900 years for sin to corrupt his perfect body. But you know, the Bible says in Ephesians that the power of God, the spirit of God quickens my mortal body. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead 
lives within me and quickens my mortal body. You can say amen to that anytime you want to. That same power that caused a dead man to come out of the tomb, caused Lazarus to come out of the tomb, brought Jesus out of the tomb, dwells in me. Amen. And I thank God for that. It quickens my body. It heals my body. More from Gary Cassie in a moment. When you're sick, it costs you money, robs you of the life you want to live, and keeps you from finding your destiny. Today, Pastor Gary Cassie is pleased to offer you God's health care plan, resources designed to help you live whole the way God intended. Healing is a promise from God. In multiple scriptures, it says Jesus restored all to health. Your Bible also tells us that God isn't a respecter of persons. What he promises or did for one, he promises and does for all. In this 10-part, 6-CD series, Gary expounds on the fact that Jesus already paid for our healing on the cross. What we lack is active faith. God wants you to live whole. Live whole. God's health care plan proves through scriptures that God's healing is for everyone, and that includes you. Remember, Jesus already paid the price for your healing. Start living whole, employing God's health care plan today. Call 888-391-LIFE, write, or visit GaryCasee.com to get started. Your health is more than just important to your finances. It's vital to your destiny. Also, from fixing the money thing, to encourage you to live whole every day, we want to send you 10 healing scripture cards, each with a vital verse about healing. Take the scripture cards with you in the convenient carrying case as a reminder of God's health care plan. Live Whole, God's Health Care Plan, and the 10 Healing Scripture Cards are yours today for only $35 or more in support of Faith Life Ministries. Call 888-391-LIFE, 888-391-5433. Write Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Or log on to GaryCasee.com to order God's Health Care Plan for yourself. Gary Cassie wants you to see the evidence from God's Word that proves you can live a life free from health care concerns. Call, write, or go online and get God's health care plan. Once again, from the Faith Life Now studio, Gary and Drenda Cassie. Well, it's uh, going to be a, a sure thing that in the lifetime of a person, they're going to have to know something about healing in their life. And so I strongly recommend you get the material to reinforce what God says about healing. But right now, Drenda, we have a very special guest. Yes. Uh, Amy Frutiker joins us. One of the most amazing stories of healing that I've seen yes. uh, in my entire life. And this was a very personal story for us because Amy's our daughter. Yeah. And uh, Amy, you struggled for years. I know you started ministering and sharing a message of purity in churches and mm -hmm. youth groups. Yes. And after that, you began to grow an abdominal tumor, yeah. which made you look pregnant. And it was very hard, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But when I was about 18 years old, I noticed that I started to become more stiff and my muscles were aching and my abdomen became a, a, a distended where I did start to look like I was pregnant. And so you took me to a couple doctors, an internal doctor, and they did blood work and they, and they didn't really want to do a CAT scan because they said, well, her blood work's perfect and um, something would show up in that. So yes. we just kind of let it go. And this doctor said something to me when I was 18 years old. She just said, well, this is probably just the way that you're shaped and this is probably the way you're, that you're going to be the rest of your life. But we, so, knew, we knew that wasn't the case. And this doctor yeah. not knowing you and your background, you know, we both felt something was more there. Right. Yes. But it was kind of an awkward thing to have to even deal with, wasn't it? Yeah, but I think that I internalized that and basically accepted or, or you know, thought, well, I'm just going to have to cope with this for the rest of my life. This isn't really something that's a huge issue, but yet, you know, it, there's nothing to do about it. So yeah. And it got worse. It, it yeah, got worse got over worse. those over the, the series. And I went to a couple other doctors. And again, you know, blood work came back fine. We think you're okay. You're too young to, to have this and that. So, um, you know, by the time I was about 23, 25, um, it got to the point where I couldn't jog anymore. My, my uh, spine was so bad that uh, one massage therapist actually told me, you just have a straight back. You, you have no curve left in, the, in your back. And, and um, there were knots. There were the, knots. The you know, the vertebrae were sticking out. out. That's how big the tumor was. Yeah. yeah. And um, I mean, I had pain in my body. I couldn't exercise anymore. Um, I, I started 
going to a kinesiologist to do stretching, just trying to cope with all the And you had internal problems. You started, your kidneys started having trouble functioning yeah. with the pressure of the tumor. Exactly. And, well, uh, we didn't know it was a tumor at the time yeah, we didn't because know then. the That's doctors correct. had said, oh, we're not going to do CAT scans and MRIs and all that because you're just too young yeah. and it would show up in the blood work. So, and um, your, your finally, arms also started getting very skinny. Yeah. It was like you had this started, really skinny arms, legs. I think it started malnourishing my body right. and yes. um, my internal organs were displaced. We found out later I started having a lot of digestion issues, um, kidney problems. I had a severe kidney infection. Some um, female problems as well. Yeah, and, and I had to just deal with this on an ongoing basis. Every morning when I got dressed, I had to look at myself in the mirror and see that problem mm. and feel that pain. And so I finally went to um, a chiropractor to try to deal with some more of this problem that I was having with my back. And he took some x-rays, um, and for the first time, I saw with my own physical eyes what was the problem? And he showed me this mass that was there. And he said, this, you know, your organs are all up here. There's this mass here. We can't really see what it is, but it's right here in the middle. And How big was it? I mean, it, it looked like it covered my whole midsection. And where were your organs at? They were all, my intestines he showed me were actually all the way up in my rib cage. They were, you know, pushed to the sides. So this is pretty, I mean, you were, you yeah. were, looked like six or seven months pregnant. I did, yes. And everyone thought you were pregnant. Yeah, people who didn't know me For would ask me. For five, six years, you, yeah. Yeah, yes. they, I mean, they would ask me. And, I, and of it was course, very, I tried very to embarrassing, it. very painful yeah. for you emotionally. Yeah, emotionally too. Especially um, since you have a message of purity. Right. And kept yourself pure to your yeah. wedding right. day. Right. I'm in the midst of that. I met the man of my dreams and married Jason, and uh, he, he loved me for who I was and uh, never mentioned it. But he knew that I was dealing with these physical problems yeah, and the pain. So when I saw that x-ray, I finally had something, I had a choice to make. I knew there was something wrong that should not be there. Mm -hmm. For one thing, this was not the way I was made. This was not the way I was shaped. And I knew that I could run to the doctor right then and run the risk of them doing some sort of extravagant surgery, maybe even a hysterectomy, you know, who knows. Um, and I wanted to have children, obviously. And I had prayed that summer and I'd said, God, I want to get this fixed before I get pregnant. We had been married for a year and a half and I wanted to have children. So sure. I, I started believing God and I was like, I, I know this isn't right. And I had I believed in healing. I had seen people healed um, of paralysis, somebody get up off the floor and walk that couldn't walk. I had been healed of um, scars that had been left from a car accident that just disappeared off of my eye. So I knew God healed, but I think when I saw that first doctor and they had told me, well, this is probably just the way you are. Mm, I had yeah. accepted that as my fact, as my yes, truth. Yeah. And the facts can say one thing, but your truth has to come from God's word. So in the midst of that, you yeah, started yeah, teaching yeah, a series. Tell us about this series, how yeah. important it is. Yeah, the, This the, is the series that I was teaching when right. you received your healing. Right, yeah. I got the x-ray and the next week, you started teaching this series. And the first weekend I made a choice, I decided that uh, it was now or never. This yeah. is it. I'm going to make my stand of faith. I had tried in the past. I had, you know, believed God and spoke healing. But you know what? In my heart of hearts, I did not, I did not believe it was possible for me. I, I you know, it had and gone if somebody on for so long. Yeah, it was. So and we've been ongoing. told so many different things. You know? And every time I would try to get my faith up, um, something would happen. You know, somebody would would say something about me being pregnant. It would just, you know, crush me again. Or I would deal with more physical symptoms like the kidney infections and things. So every time I tried to get my faith out there, it felt like it was just pressed down and, and destroyed. So um, this time I decided, you know, you're going to teach this series. I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to get my healing. And one of the testimonies in this series uh, was a lady who was healed of migraine headaches. And she was getting injections in her skull and all kinds of things to deal with the pain. But she realized that mm -hmm. scripture that says the same power that brought Jesus out of the grave is now quickening your mortal bodies. Yes, yes. And that means to restore to its original yeah. state. Yeah. And so I realized that my body could be restored to its original state the way God created it to be Amen. without all of the symptoms of pain, without the knots in my spine, without this tumor. And so you started teaching this and I actually got healing scriptures that you were teaching from this series and I put them in my iPhone and I started to speak them out loud to myself every morning, noon and night. Every time I got dressed, every time I saw myself in the mirror, every time I had pain in my body, I started speaking those scriptures. And we actually have part of this package is the healing scriptures. Um, some of these were my favorites that I spoke over myself every day. And what happened was I started to reprogram my mindset. And go. down in my heart, I started to believe that healing was mine. Yes. And I knew, I thought I was in faith before, but I knew the moment that I was in faith. And it was, it was toward the end of this series. 
I knew that I was in faith. So it takes time it, for the exactly. word to produce faith. It took time. I, did, I, did, yeah. I would have told you I was in faith before. I would have told you, yes, I believe God heals. I would have told you, well, yes, I believe that I am healed. But I did not have faith to receive my healing. I wasn't totally in agreement with heaven. I was agreement, in, in agreement with my symptoms. I was in agreement with what the doctors had told me before. And I had accepted it as my truth. Mm. But I started to realize this was my truth. I can, I can see the facts, but I can realize this is my truth, what the Word of God says. And so through that series, I took what I call now the 30-day the challenge, where I saturated myself for 30 days straight nonstop, I turned off the TV because, you know, you see all those ads about uh, all those problems with your health. You see all these, me you know, right, right, all these medicines right. um, that are being talked about. So you hear all those things being programmed in your mind constantly. You don't realize it. Yes. So I turned that off. I turned the radio off. I started listening to the CDs from this every weekend. After what I'd get the CD and I'd listen to it again during the week. And I started speaking those things over my body. Finally, at the end of the series, I realized that I was in faith. And I knew that because I had joy. It felt right, like joy. Mm -hmm. Faith felt like joy. It felt like celebration. It felt like uh, a knowing and anticipation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it it yeah. was, you know, it. it was that joy of knowing it's done. It's completed. Yeah. It's finished. And you'll remember that weekend that I came mm -hmm. up to the front. I had the elders and, and you guys pray with me that day and believe God. And I just received it. I knew that it was finished and I, it didn't instantly happen right that moment. But you know what? Two weeks later, I, I went to bed in pain, more pain than ever. I looked the same. I went to bed and I spoke my scriptures that night and I remember the night that it was. And I went to bed, woke up the next morning and my husband looked at me and he said, Amy, something happened to your body. <laughs> what During happened to you? Overnight, I yeah. woke up and I jumped out of bed and I realized that my abdomen wasn't hard, that it was uh, it had gone in, my spine was curved. I, I had actually weighed myself the night before, so I ran to the scale and I had lost 13 pounds instantly, wow. nine inches from my waist. Um, the curve was in my spine. Like the I said, my were muscles gone. were, were yes. perfect. The I, knots I were came, gone. I came over, you called me all excited. I came over and even when yeah. you laid on the floor before, when you had that tumor, your stomach would protrude would when you distended. lay down. Yeah. It would be distended. Yes. But this time now it was gone and, and it was like there was nothing there because the organs were still up yeah. in your body, yeah, but amazing. yet you had nothing there. It was this tiny. Yeah. I mean, yeah. God did surgery on yes, me while I slept. Overnight. Surgery. Instantly And then our family it. got together and we all cried. Yeah, your brothers yeah. cried. Because when we would hug you for the longest, we couldn't pull you to us. Yeah. Right. Your stomach yeah. was so hard. It would press ours in. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, you know, Amy, your story, you have a whole CD you've added to this, this uh, whole series. You've added your story in more detail than you're telling us here. And uh, you'll want to get this series. And we'll be back in just a moment uh, after we talk about how to get this. And we'll talk to Amy. And you'll meet Baby Journey in just a second. <laughs> the fruit of my faith. <laughs> Amen. When you're sick, it costs you money, robs you of the life you want to live, and keeps you from finding your destiny. Today, Pastor Gary Cassie is pleased to offer you God's Health Care Plan, resources designed to help you live whole the way God intended. Healing is a promise from God. In multiple scriptures, it says Jesus restored all to health. Your Bible also tells us that God isn't a respecter of persons. What He promises or did for one, He promises and does for all. In this 10-part, six-CD series, Gary expounds on the fact that Jesus already paid for our healing on the cross. What we lack is active faith. God wants you to live whole. Live whole, God's health care plan, proves through scriptures that God's healing is for everyone, and that includes you. Remember, Jesus already paid the price for your healing. Start living whole, employing God's health care plan today. Call 888-391-LIFE write or visit GaryCassie.com to get started. Your health is more than just important to your finances. It's vital to your destiny. Also from Fixing the Money Thing, to encourage you to live whole every day, we want to send you 10 healing scripture cards, each with a vital verse about healing. Take the scripture cards with you in the convenient carrying case as a reminder of God's health care plan. Live whole, God's health care plan. 
and the 10 Healing Scripture Cards are yours today for only $35 or more in support of Faith Life Ministries. Call 888-391-LIFE, 888-391-5433. Write Faith Life Now, P.O. Box 779, New Albany, Ohio, 43054. Or log on to GaryCasey.com to order God's health care plan for yourself. Gary Cassie wants you to see the evidence from God's Word that proves you can live a life free from health care concerns. Call, write, or go online and get God's health care plan. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to GaryCasie.com for more information. Now, with more on God's health care plan for you, Gary and Drenda Cassie. And now we've just got to introduce you to the fruit of Amy's faith and all of our believing. And this is little Journey Taylor. Journey, Journey Taylor, and she's three months old. So, hi, hi Journey. Journey. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is our little faith baby. Yes, yes. she is. And she's, she's beautiful. Amazing. And the story of your healing, Amy, is just amazing. <laughs> and I so want you to know that God heals. So the question of the show, does God heal? The answer, Amy, is what? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Can't he convince heals. me otherwise. He heals yes. every time. Absolutely. Yes. And this yes. little gal loves to hear her grandpa preach. Yep. She's been listening to you preach <laughs> yeah. since in the womb. So. <laughs> well, the Word of God is, is powerful. Yes. It's active and, and living in it. And people it need to take faith. that 30-day that challenge to renew their mind to yes. the possibilities of what God's Word says. They, Absolutely. they can be healed. And in our, you know, you had scriptures. We, yes. we have cards written up of scriptures with yep. our product offer. And, you know, you uh, read this three times a day. And yep. if you meditate on, on the Word and of speak God. speak it out loud. Speak, speak it speak out loud. Speak to your body. It'll I, produce. I spoke to my so, body. no matter where you're at right now in your, in your physical body, I want you to know that God heals. Jesus paid the legal price by His stripes. You are healed. You were healed. And I want to encourage you. Today on Fixing the Money Thing, we're talking about healing because it impacts every area of life. Join us next time here on Fixing the Money Thing, and we're gonna talk more about your money. We love you, we'll see you then. Fixing the Money Thing is brought to you by the Ford Financial Group and Lindsay Honda and Acura of Columbus. When you need God's help, prayer is always the answer. Pastor Gary understands and wants to help. That's why he has caring friends standing by, ready to pray with you. No matter what you're facing, there is hope. Call and let's agree together. It's time to build an army and we're calling all women to come together for this monumental free event. Featuring a powerful lineup of speakers and plenty of shopping and fun for girlfriends of all ages. This is one conference you can't afford to miss, so we made it affordable, free of charge. Call all your girlfriends and mark your calendar for October 18, 19, and 20. This year, so get this women's conference through morning, afternoon, and evening workshops. Call and invite someone today. Tune in each Friday at 5.30 p.m. for Drenda. Connect with special guests, discover life-changing topics, and learn to live life out loud. It's more than just television. It's Drenda. Come experience Faith Life Church for yourself and become part of a close-knit gathering of people who want something more, more impact, more purpose, more of God, more of life. Located on the east side of Columbus, just 10 minutes from Easton, off of 161, Faith Life Church meets in the Now Center, which services Saturdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. Come experience the good life at Faith Life Church. To invite Gary to speak at your service or event, contact him at GaryCasey.com. Fixing the Money Thing is part of the worldwide outreach of Faith Life Now.